We are back on the dirt roads and we are over here and we're going to scoot back across to William Creek and explore this whole area here. Goodbye to Cooper Petey. I'm going to show you what Chris is up to over here. Done a bit of this while we've been here, haven't we? Bit of what? <laughs> bit of water filling. Water filling. So how does because you shower so much, that's why. <laughs> how does this process work? Well, Run me put, through this little thingy here. You put a hundred dollar note in here <laughs> and it gives you 20 litres. So how much is it? There you go. One dollar. Approximately 30 litres, 15 minute timeout. No change given. So even though we've been here in Cooper Pedy for nine days, this is day number 10, we've really only had two days to explore, thanks to the lockdown. But there are so many really cool places to see here, so much to do. If you can allow three or four days, um, do that. So we've you know, had to pick and choose what we can see because we were in lockdown, it kind of held us up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Cooper Pedy is one of our favorite places. Can you say Cooper Pedy is one of our favorite places so far? No, <laughs> it's a pretty rad little town, eh? What was your favorite? Quirk little town. What was your favorite? Part. Oh man, I don't know. Why do we always ask? Why does always ask? Is what's your favorite part? I, I know that's why I'm asking. I don't have favorite parts. It's all it's just the whole thing, hey. Although that spaghetti pizza was pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, John's pizza. It was A grade. Yeah. There you go. Very very happy. I I picked that. So. There you go. I would probably say for me, um, Crocodile Harry's was insane. Like that, I was not expecting that. So that for me was actually quite cool. But yeah, Chris, pizza. back on the dirt roads and this here is a mud map that we were given in Udna Data, which is actually very handy. So we are over here and we're going to scoot back across to William Creek and explore this whole area here. <laughs> These are the things that we have to do, written in purple. Um, I think all Chris cares about is the meat pie at whatever bakery that underground was. Underground bakery. Farina somewhere. or something. Farina, yeah. Yeah, right. underground bakery. So that's, yeah, that's what we're doing today. this morning, they're actually almost dry. 
pretty much just enjoying this really, really unusually warm day. It's 26 degrees, it's blowing a gale, but that doesn't matter because it's so nice not to be cold. Just having a nap, and I never have naps. Very rarely, I'm tired, I was up late. Anyway, he yells at me, hey, come here, the water's coming. And I was like, what? And I thought we were gonna be, like, gonna be swept away or something, so I jumped up. There's actually water now out front of the caravan. The water creeping its way up and not long ago it was all the way down there. I want you to walk out there and see how far you can go without I'm way. sinking. No, I was just sleeping on the chair outside in the sun and I'm thinking I want to go look at the water but the water was like half a k down there. I'm thinking oh, I can be bothered walking up there and then I wake up and it's right here. And look then, and you can literally see it running. And then what did you do? I got up and went bye bye <laughs> and you were asleep and I scared the crap out of you. <laughs> the water's coming! <laughs> Let's see how deep it is. How uh, boggy it is. Yeah. They're not going to get sunburnt, are they? <laughs> no, go further. See how far you can go. <laughs> that. What footprints are they? It doesn't look like a dog. It's a camel. I'd say that's a camel too. Yeah. Look, there's another one here. Great. That could be fun. I don't know about my black feet though, they're <laughs> sticky. Look how far the water is now. Imagine trying to drive out there, you just go Bruh. Go out there and wash your feet. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk out and wash my feet. No! <laughs> See, look, look at all the crystal here. There it is, whatever it is. Yeah, here's a big bit here. Yeah. Crazy, eh? It's like you've done my charcoal mask on your face. I do, I look after my feet. <laughs> We're just going to keep walking until we get to the end. Yeah. But the law. Probably get to Utenadatta. We're all the way down there. Who knows? We're like racing the water. Who knows? It was right there by that when Chris called out before. Now it's there. Look at that. That looks like rust. It's like a rusty rock, doesn't it? This place is weird. Found some Rue prints. Is it? Yeah. Well, what else would have two feet? Yeah, they've got skinny legs, aren't they? Yeah, I reckon it's kangaroo. Here you go, I reckon you can get into the water from here. Do, 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 do. Go on. we have been in a long time we don't know where this water is coming from we don't know where it's going it can't be tidal because we're in the middle of Australia well, if it's coming on up and out of the ground why is it going that way um, I reckon there's rains this must have been rain like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers away that's the only thing I can suggest but and it looks like it comes up to here. and goes away regularly because well, everything's wet yeah. and Google is not our friend because we have no internet service so we have no idea. We don't even know how far this goes, where it's come from. 
mystery. Now we see dingo or wild dog footprints. He's ventured out a bit further than Chris will. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing? It's moving, it's filling up pretty quickly. Oh. Yeah, you can see it creeping forward. Yeah, look, wind's helping it, but it's, it's, it's insane how quickly it's filling up. What the heck are you laughing at out here? <laughs> <laughs> the kid out there was running out towards the water. And I'm like, he's gonna go down, he's gonna go down, he's right near the water's edge, he's playing, he went whoop, straight down his knees, and he's standing there for ages going, Dad, Dad! <laughs> and Dad goes, Dad's out on all fours trying to get to him. <laughs> oh, I knew that wasn't gonna end pear shape. <laughs> yep, Dad's crawling on all fours. Found a little one there, have you? Mm. <laughs> what is that? Nice. Yes. <laughs> or... It's like my new body armor for mountain biking. You like it? Multi-purpose. Yep. That's, you like it? That's great. Side on profile? Yes. That'll protect me, protect my collarbones, protect my chest. I like it better as a mask. <laughs> Back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little face, it's like a mini me. Hold it up so I can see. See, he's got his mouth and his big nose and his two eyes. <laughs> Do you think? I think so. Yeah. Stunning. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got an idea. I've got what? an idea. Ready? Hmm. Kiss me. Do we look like a kissy silhouette? Do we look like a kissy silhouette? <laughs> Push your lips out. Put your chin down. <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> now that put a dampener to the romance, didn't it? <laughs> romance. Yeah, anyway. Oh my gosh. Anyway. anyway, this is why we do what we do. We can make like, <laughs> we can make shadow. But like seriously, on a serious note, look at that. Look at that. This is the most stunning sunset I think we've seen this entire trip, do you think? Yeah, this is impressive. Mind you, this is the first time we've actually been out in a free camp like this for quite a while. Yeah, it's been weeks. Yeah. Weeks and weeks and weeks. So, yep, up yours, lockdown. <laughs> we are out and we are going <laughs> yeah. hard. Right. Look at that. All right, one last shot of the beautiful sunset. One last shot before we go inside. And possibly think about dinner. Yeah. I don't even dinner. know what time it is. Dinner and beers. Beers? <laughs> no. Alright. Good night all. Bye. Bye. That's what's going on outside. And this <laughs> is what's going One, on. One, two, three, inside. four, five. <laughs> uh, the fun. This is the real fun right here. So we were in bed. Lights out. Chris opens the window to have a look outside and sees two insanely huge shooting stars and all the stars are shining on the water. So we are, I don't know if you can see it's dark in here, we're going to go outside and um, 
spend some time under the stars. We are packing up to head off again and I thought I'd show you what I've done inside the van because I know we're going to be driving on some pretty corrugated roads so packing the van to travel is just a little bit different. In the bathroom we take off the fusion lock, the hair dryer comes out, usually that stays up. Uh, I take them out and pop everything down here. It's a little bit more padded than usual. Stove, I've actually wrapped a towel, might as well take it off and show you, in there so that doesn't bang around. So that travels in the sink has got an extra towel wrapped around it. Both fusion locks are off there. Up in the microwave, we've padded the microwave table, the plate, where the fusion locks travel. And because this road is bad, but not too bad, we're not actually going to take the TV off this time. But when it's a really bad road, we take the TV off and we just shove it up under the pillows there. But this one is actually reinforced and it has a Velcro strap around it. So there you go. And once again, we're prepping to hit the road. Timber, hey? No, not when it's forecast to go from 26 degrees down to like 14. Yeah, we're always on the lookout for good timber and we're driving along this road, especially in the desert. There's just no good trees out here. There so are we lots just... of dead trees here though. Well, dead trees and bushes really. There's bushes, not many yeah. Yeah, good trees. So we've got that one. these things, avoid them. They are prickly, they are horrible, and they stick in your socks and on the bottom of your jeans. They're everywhere. Find them because I'm always running around in the sand trying to take photos. We are back on the Uta Data Track. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think we're gonna go north <laughs> again, like we were saying. Or we might go to William Creek. What are we gonna do? Uh, we don't really know. Now we have to point out that um, the reason we've come across this way and we're gonna head back up is because we wanted to do that camp on this road. You can actually go to Coop, um, to Uta Data the other way, can't you? Yeah, but it's a, I guess it's a long way. If you're gonna go sort of up to, up. <laughs> so we've yeah, done this road here. This was Cuba Pedy, this was um, William Creek, and you can go... We just went straight across, we went pretty much directly east, a tiny bit south, back to Udnadatta Track, instead of going north up to Udnadatta from Cooper Pedy. Yeah, because Alga Bikina, or whatever the railway, is actually up the top here, but yeah. we wanted to do this road. Yes, because so. <laughs> of that epic lake camp that, that we did really last cool night. Camp. Uh, yeah. So we're going to head north again and do pretty... Nearly get to Udnadatta. And then do the Albuquerque. Come back down again. Yeah, there's ruins and bridge and stuff that we want to see on that stretch of road between the top and um, William yeah. Creek. So, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So here is a pretty good indication of where you can go. Udnadatta, 198. Roxby Downs, 267. Myrie, 207. Um, William Creek is five kilometers that way. And where we've just come from, Cooper PD, is I don't know how far, but it's that way. 140 odd k's or something. There you go. So here we are in William Creek. Chris is going to fuel up and I'm going to have a look around.
know, come and look, I'll show you. Okay. I want to go to that Anna, Anna Creek. Can we just drive past that? Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks like Chambers Hill a little bit. Oh no. Alrighty, so where have we come from and where are we going? Um This is probably a bit easier to follow than our Well we've done this up to here, we've gone down that way. What's up there? That's Alice. Okay, yeah. We come down to Fink, then we come back up, then we come down this way. Gone across this way to Chambers Pillar, then back, then come down. Gone out this way, then down here, all the way down, out to there, back, down to here. Name the, yeah, name the places. Uludala, down the Cooper Pedy, then back up to the breakaways, back. Then we've just done that. That's where the, that's the lake. There we go. Look how big it is. Well, hmm? oh, absolutely yeah. massive. Say the name of the lake. Yeah, sure. Katabarawirakana. <laughs> then we'll come uh, this way. And then we're here. So now we're going to go back up that way. And down. And then all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Sunders Rangers. All this area. And then from there, I don't know. Straight down. How's your toasty? Good. Good. So now we're going to go back up that way. And down. 